Slice, you can either choose to play for a change of pace, you can also do for a change of direction. How to forehand slice. So the reason why the slice is called a slice is because you're actually literally slicing the shuttle. So what it looks like when you normally hit a shuttlecock, right, is it looks like this. You're hitting it square on the court, and that's what gives it the power, direction, whatever, right? When you're slicing it, you're actually hitting it at a side, so like this, and you're actually hitting some of the feathers, basically influencing the spin. So you're either going to be reducing the speed it comes at, or you're going to be changing direction like that, which is more common. And the reason why people do this or want to do this is it includes a deception, because normally when you play a cross drop, you're just going to be showing your face at the last moment. With a slice, you're able to show a faster racket action, which makes the opponent think that you're playing a smash, and then you're able to deceive them because of the direction, and then it's a sudden slow shot. So for a brief refresher, right, the drops come all down to petite. So you're gonna be like hitting it like this, right? So a normal drop like this, right? But then when you do a slice, you're actually going to be changing the racket face at the last moment, and then applying the petite. So if you want to do a slower slice, right? Right? Like this. And you want to be holding that until the last moment. You can also play it straight like this so again again the slice you can either choose to play for a change of pace you can also do for a change of direction right one more time hold it up high hold it up high slice you can also play it tighter right like this or you can also choose to do a slice smash right so like a like this like that you can also do the reverse slice which instead of slicing like this you're gonna be slicing like this. So the forehand reverse slice is quite tricky, but essentially it's the same concept. So you'll be showing the straight racket face and then like this, right? Like that. And again, it's a deception because if you've been playing a lot of slices that way, this looks the same. And if you play it straight, it's a very good deception. The problem is just very, very hard to execute as you can notice. And then of course, on the other side, the reverse cross slice is a bit easier. So it's the same kind of concept, right? You take it high, you show the straight, and then last moment, you'll take it at an angle and slice it, right? The reverse cross slice on the backhand corner is one of my favorite shots. You can get a lot of, you can get a lot of slice out of it, and not many players decide to do it. So on the backhand side, you can still choose to reverse cross slice. For example, you're going to show the straight like that. You can also play the reverse straight, right? Like this. So the slice is more of an advanced technique. I'd really recommend you guys have a solid straight drop before wearing all slices. Slicing also does decrease the durability of your strings, right? Pero it is an essential skill, especially for singles players. Your drops will come down faster. You just have a lot more deception in your stroke. But again, please focus on the fundamentals. That will already get you a long way. But you guys requested a slice video for so long that I might as well have done it. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this video. Comment down below what your thoughts are. Let me know what you guys would like to see next. Bye-bye.